in the early years of my field work within the Gia Matsuri, I was completely seduced by the Yamaboko floats and all of their treasures. And what I've learned over the years, thanks to festival elders and other community members sharing with me, is it's not about the beauty, it's not about the priceless treasures, it's actually about the spiritual aspect and about the heart of all of the people participating. The Gyan Matsuri is a gigantic purification festival, or we could say a huge collection of many, many, many different purification festivals. Well, what do we mean by purification? Shintoism is basically a form of shamanism. It's also very close to Taoism because it has a very close connection with nature and natural cycles. The deities within the Gyamatsuri are driving out negative energy, protecting us from negative energy, and inviting in virtue. That's what we mean by purification. So it originated with a protection from illness, from epidemics, in the Gyan Matsuri's earliest history, and, and also serves this purpose today with pandemics, and also with garden variety suffering, garden variety negative energy. Yes, the Yamaboko are known as moving museums, and yes, they are incredibly beautiful and interesting, but just with those alone, they become a kind of static museum that has no curator and no reason to exist, really. And in this, we can see this dance between samsara, the world of illusion, the world of impermanence, all of these beautiful things will be gone. Many beautiful things that have been in the Gyamatsuri before and, and millions of people are gone. But the spirit of the Gyanmatsuri and this desire to reduce suffering and invite in goodness, that has persevered throughout the history of humanity and the history of the Gyamatsuri.